Hi, sir. Đây chấm điểm sơ cha. Ngày nay khi nhom bằng hàng cha mà sú. Today I am showing you how to make a stir fry glass noodle. Um, I put the video clip together, so hopefully you'll be able to follow me. So here is the final product. It's so yummy and delicious. Those of you that know me, uh, you know how good this noodle is. So hopefully uh, you'll be able to watch my video and follow uh, step by step, okay? Thank you for watching the video. I'm going to make glass, stir fry glass noodle. I have a cup of noodles about two carrots and uh, four sli four small slices of gin, uh, ginger root, three garlic cloves, two shallots, four stem of um, green onion, and cabbage. That's all the amount that I will use. And I have like a half cup of uh, mushroom and um, been curved so right now I am cooking it in a pot all the ingredients that I am uh, using for my glass noodle. I know chicken powder, I use like half teaspoon, um, uh, brown sugar, I use a teaspoon, and then I have homemade chili, uh, like chili paste I make myself. I use like maybe half teaspoon, and then olive oil, I uh, use like half teaspoon, half teaspoon of fish sauce, oyster sauce, and then seasoning, um, uh, soy sauce, pepper, uh, black pepper, and then sesame oil. So all of these ingredients you have to mix it um, uh, before you uh, fry it, okay? You cannot just add on while you're frying. So you have to mix it into a bowl like I did. And then paste your sauce first. And then see if this is the flavor that you like, then you are going to continue, um, you know, with your stir fry. But if your sauce doesn't come out right, then you just keep adjusting what other flavor do you need in order to make it the way you want it to come out. So I add two uh, tablespoon of water into the sauce to, to loosen it up. Otherwise, it's too thick. And then when you get ready to stir fry, you can use like another half teaspoon of olive oil. But because I do, um, I also have my uh, mushroom and bean curd. I pre-cook these items because they come in dry form. So I have to soak it and then I cook with the uh, chicken powder for like about 10 minutes to get the flavor inside of those two ingredients before I stir fry it. And that's it. So I'm going to go outside and try to put all of this food together and show you the final product. Thank you for watching.
very soft. You do not want to cook in the high heat. And then you put your noodle in it. Put it in there. Noodle go in and you are going to just mix the noodle into the flavor. Flavor of that sauce. See, look. Mix it in like that. That's why you need lower heat. You do not need to cook on high heat on the, when you put your noodle in. Okay, just like that. And this is the time I told you to please uh, have water because sometimes this noodle is so hard um, it might need water. So I'm going to put a little bit of water in it. There you go, just a little bit. This is the complete process of making stir-fry glass noodle. cook with me okay so here's the noodle it's very delicious so i'm guarantee if you follow those instructions it's gonna be come out just like that it's so beautiful i already tasted it. it's so good so i'm gonna do a little test here and it's so yummy kanya <sighs> It's so delicious. Those of you that know me, I do make good noodles. So hopefully you'll be able to follow my video clip, click like, and hopefully I have more new, um, you know, fun, delicious dish for you to watch.